Hey everybody, we're going to be working with a flower pot that I got at Lowe's for $5.95. When my avocado gets a little bigger, I'll plant it in it and put it in front of my window. My paint is Saks Heavy Bodied Acrylic. It's one part acrylic, one part white all-purpose glue, and 20 to 30% water. We're going to be doing a balloon kiss with three different size balloons large, medium, and really small. I'm going to use a paper plate and put my colors in here. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing and it just helps us advertise on YouTube and the advertisers pay us a little bit to do that. Helps buy our paint supplies. Okay, there's that flower. Now we'll do the other side after this dries. Now I'm going to do the little balloon. This is just a long skinny balloon that I've cut. You got to be careful, your paint will run if it's too thick, as you can see right here. I'm laying this on here and I'm twisting. See how that does? I'm going to use a bigger balloon and give me some bigger flowers. The color you want to show the most is the one you put on last. I'm going to take my stick and, and go through this a little bit. Gotta keep your eye on that paint, it runs. If this doesn't come out good, I will spray paint it and try again. You gotta wait for one paint to dry before you do another one. You can't do these on top of each other, they run. I'm just using a sea sponge. You gotta keep looking for drips. Make sure you get your drips before they dry. But on this plastic, if you lose one and it goes crazy on you, you can always scrape it off. That's pretty. You got a little play stick right here that wants to drip. Just pat it down. Doesn't have to be perfect. I don't really want the paint up there, so I'm gonna get rid of that with a Q-tip. Okay, this is all dry. Do you see how the paint ran right here? All you got to do, because this is plastic container, is you just cut it with the razor blade, lift up, and it comes right off. So don't worry about your drips, no major. Like right here, I want this defined a little better. I'm just going to cut that out of there. And then use your razor blade. And there you go. That 
that cleans it right up. So don't worry about boo-boos and runs. I'm not going to do the back of this. It's not going to show. It's going to be over in the corner. So I'm just doing the front of it. As you see, this dried. This is a little darker, but it looks good. It just gives it a little depth. So I'm going to leave that. Let's add us some leaves. I want to define my red purple flowers a little better so i'm going to use a sharpie and just go around just round out my corners on my flowers a little bit doesn't that look better see that looks a little better than that does just makes them stand out a little better and I use a brush with a rounded tip I just like it better I'm gonna dip half in the dark and half in the light and just do some leaves like that again this paint will run so you got to keep an eye on it As you come up, just turn your brush to the side where you get your point. This doesn't have to be perfect, it's just pretty abstract. When this dries, I will spray a sealer, clear sealer over it, just to shine it up a little bit. My kitchen is silver backdrop, and my curtains are black with a little bit of um, sparkle rhinestones in them. So I'm going to add some bling across the top just to give it something a little more. Lift them up once you put them down and pull my paint up. Okay, this will be fine when I spray it. I hope you enjoyed.